Alex Kais here, artist and realtor with a home in Seattle. And this is a real estate market update. Things are getting pretty slow out there right now. Uh, we typically see this this time of the year when uh, you know buyers are taking some time off for the holidays, sellers get a little scared. And while I'm still preparing some listings for sale and answering buyers' questions, I'm taking it pretty easy. So recently I've been working on my house. Kendall and I bought this house uh, about a year and a half ago and we've been slowly fixing it up. We're getting ready to replace all the floors, to rip out the kitchen, and um, mostly just to kind of refresh the place and get it ready to hopefully sell in the next year or two. So we've been taking out cabinets all over the kitchen. Right here there used to be a little buffet sort of thing with kind of a lower countertop and doors underneath. In the kitchen, the fridge used to be over here, and then we moved it over there. There used to be a big bank of cabinets over here, and above the old fridge, these cabinets are all screwy. So now it's time to redesign the kitchen and put it back together. Okay, but there's still 1,219 homes for sale in the city of Seattle. So let's dive into some of the statistics. Okay, before we get started, please consider liking, subscribing, and following. Your validation gives me purpose. Okay, so what are stats? Why do we care? And what is the MLS? These are all questions to be considered before looking at the numbers. So I'm not an economist, but there is some value in looking at past data to try and figure out how to navigate the market. The multiple listing service has most of the data on most home sales going back to about 2004. So we can use all of this data to make charts, graphs, and try to figure out or try to guess where the market's going to be going in the future. So if you're a home buyer or a home seller, this can help determine timing and value. Okay, let's start by looking at average sales price. You can see that we started the year at 722, ended at 729, so we've seen a little bit of growth over the past 12 months. But you know, over the summer we had this big uh, growth, and then last month we had 759,000. That was the average sales price, so we've dropped about $30,000 which you might like if you're a home buyer, but really it's in everyone's interest for the market to continually be going up. Especially if you do buy a home, then you do want those home values to keep creeping up and secure your investment. Okay, the cold season has been pretty good for home buyers. You can see that uh, we've dipped down to about 99.1% uh, when looking at the list price to sales price ratio and that's down from 99.5% last month. You can see that over the summer, you know, as competition increases, more people are buying homes, there's more multiple offer situations, that, uh, that ratio creeps up and people are paying more than the list price of a home. The flip side of this good news is that home sellers see this data and you know it scares them a little bit. So they wait, they hold on to their home, they wait to sell it in this positive section of the year, the spring and the summer. And there isn't a ton of inventory out there if you're home shopping right now. Okay, so here's a representation of this phenomenon. You know, you can see that list number of new listings coming onto the market is going down while the sales, the home buyers out there, is staying fairly even over the course of the year. Good news is that uh, we are seeing kind of a more robust market. Um, there's a lot larger numbers. You can see that uh, 315 new listings last year and right this last month we saw 635. So if you're out there trying to buy a home, you know, this could be a really good time of year. There's a good chance that you could get a pretty good deal and there's room for some negotiation with sellers. If you're trying to sell a home, just be aware that uh, you really need to stage and prepare a home correctly. You need it to be priced right on uh, on the market value. And you know, I'm still seeing multiple offers out there. Uh, some homes go through a price reduction, get a little bit renewed interest, and uh, you know, I'm hearing stories of uh, from some colleagues of mine where. You know, they're getting three or four offers all at once, even after their home's been sitting on the market for two months. Okay, send me a message if you have any questions that you want answered, or you're looking to buy or sell a home. And I'll see you next time.